Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to give you guys an updated makeup tutorial using these new brushes which I got from Maven Beauty. These come in a brush set, so I'm gonna put them to the ultimate test with my everyday makeup tutorial, which has been really highly requested. Let's put these brushes to the test. Okay, so we're gonna get right into the video. I'm actually filming this at like 5 a.m. because um, we get load shedding. If you're in South Africa, you know we get load shedding in the morning and during the day as well. So I just feel like this is the safest time to film this because I know we won't get load shedding. So in actual fact, the reason why I wanted to film this video is because I wanted to show you guys um, this brush set I got from Maven. And I wanted to give you guys an updated makeup tutorial, which is something that is um, highly requested. <laughs> I'm not really doing my makeup for any difference. Well, maybe I am, I'm not sure. You let me know. I will list all of the products in the description box, so if you need anything, just check there because I want this to be as quick as possible. Also, please excuse the noise in my background. You guys may be hearing a lot of noise. I actually live in the city, so it's quite noisy here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and prep my skin with sort of like a dewy setting spray, just because I really like that these days under my makeup I feel like it gives me such a great finish as you can see it's quite shiny and then I'm gonna go in with this flat foundation brush from Maven and I'm gonna just use that to apply some primer onto I guess the points that like get really oily for me which is my nose more especially just generally my t-zone these brushes are so soft they feel so good and i just really like the fact that they have so many brushes in one set and you know when i was shopping for them online i was so confused about the size because they give you mini brushes like mini brush sets but they're actually quite big but they're still like compact enough for you to travel around with them which is really nice i'm then gonna go in with this foundation brush i'm trying to decide which one i want to use all over cream angled buff so i think i'm gonna go in with this all over cream i always put um foundation on the back of my hand first just to like break it down and get it warmed up and i usually just blend it with um my brush that way pack that in and just like so in the places where i do want more coverage i'm sort of gonna press the foundation down in and then as I slowly move out of my face, I'm just gonna use a sort of lighter hand and just blend it into my neck like so. Usually I need to apply more product with the rest of my brushes. I actually overestimate the amount of foundation I need and I have so much foundation left on my hand because this brush is giving full coverage. <laughs> I usually go in with a bit of concealer. Most of the time when it comes to concealer, I usually mix a number of concealers. So I like to do it on the back of my hand. Right on one, and I'm gonna mix these two concealers. Once I've got that there, I'm gonna find a concealer brush. I like this. Concealer blending. It's like a very dense, um, slightly angled brush, and I'm just gonna use that to apply that into my under eye because I like to pack the product there which gives you that really nice um, lighter under eye I usually like to blend out my concealer as I go so I'm gonna go in with my foundation brush and I'm gonna blend that back use this to help me blend. I'm like really into using one brush for my entire face these days because I'm usually just in such a rush so I do think that this is a brush I could use to put on some concealer as well Whoop. okay while we're here we're gonna contour our nose and I am using this foundation stick and I'm gonna try use this brush since it's like really nice and angled just to really help to my nose in that way 
like with makeup it's a whole lot of blending honestly sometimes i can sit down and do my makeup and my foundation brush will almost never leave my hand because you just sort of need to use it to always blend back i find that i don't really like it when my concealer starts cracking so i really like to set my eye immediately if i can i'm actually gonna add a bit more concealer i do feel like I could do with a bit more, especially here in the corner. I love concealer. The same foundation brush. look up to the ceiling that honestly makes such a difference so I'm using this um, refined powder brush which has got this really nice shape that points out in the front allowing me to like really great get into those creases and I'm gonna use that to pick up some product like that and dust it off and then I'm gonna look up and I'm gonna start packing this in this brush is so soft. Oh my god. It feels so good. What? These brushes are so good. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna let that sit there for a little bit of a minute before I blend it away. And then I'm going to go in and try and contour my face. I'm gonna use this um, angled brush. Do I want to use this brush? Or do I use something a bit more dense? Yeah, I'm gonna use this um, control contour to contour my face and I'm gonna just add a bit of that there, not too much because it is a bit dark in here as well. this brush to blend out. I'm gonna add some setting spray actually. I honestly feel like, you know what, great tools are important for every single painter. You know what, I feel, I feel like I'm so in my bag right now and it's honestly just because of the brushes and I'm actually a bit upset because I'm going to the gym after this so. It's either I'm gonna wash off my makeup because I'm just gonna look super crazy. If I have to go to the gym with a full face paint, they're probably just gonna be like, this girl is just not here for the right reasons. <laughs> Ooh, I love that. I love how it just sort of keeps your contour in that place. I feel like sometimes with like contour brushes, it's very easy to get very like, you can get carried away and you can either lift your contour like you're too high up or too far down and that like really contributes to how your face is going to be shaped something that you need to keep in mind and again i'm going in with my foundation brush just to make sure that this foundation this contour stays exactly where it's supposed to be which is right there so it gives my face that shape as opposed to any other shape that i have not ordered i'm gonna set my contour and i'm gonna go in with this angled brush with it which is slightly a bit more fluffier than the last brush i used and i'm just gonna use like you know a darker powder to do that and i'm going to start blending my cheekbone because immediately after this I am going to go in with a bronzer. I usually like to use the same brush for setting my con contour, bronzing my skin up because I feel like it gives me a better blend. But this picks up product really, really well and really, really nicely. So I guess in that way you're also using a lot less product. Blend that between my highlights and my contour this is like middle ground and it slowly starts bringing in the warmth back into my skin 
I'm gonna go in with um, some blush. I usually use like a number of blushes. This blush shade is very similar to my um, bronzing shade. Go in with another blush <laughs> that is sort of got like a bit more of an orange tone now, and I add that right on top. I'm actually gonna use this all over face powder brush because it's got a nice like pointy thing going on at the top and that is what I'm going to use to add the blush on my cheekbones and I'm just going to pat that on here. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and highlight my face and I'm going to be using another Maven product which is this highlighter called Draped Up and it's this pretty sort of like pinkish shade which I'm really into, really into like the whole pinky tones and I'm gonna look for a highlighter brush to put this on and this is a detailed highlighter brush I'm gonna dust that off because it's a bit pigmented and I'm just gonna sort of swoop that onto my skin excuse me Uh, are you stupid? Dust that off a bit and... What? The highlights are exactly where I want it. Awesome, now that I've done that, I'm gonna go in with some setting spray just to seal the steel we currently have on. I'm gonna use two setting sprays. Sort of like a dewy one and then sort of one that's going to seal in everything and make sure that my makeup remains snatched. Cool. Next thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna go in with some concealer and I'm gonna use that to highlight my brows. I'm gonna go in with a try and find a eyeshadow brush I can use and I'm gonna use this all over eyeshadow brush over healing that concealer out by adding a bit more and then brushing that out notice that I'm sort of retaining my nose contour that actually starts right by my brow by going around it using this concealer and not necessarily on it notice how i only start highlighting my brows from here i usually start i usually used to start all the way here so that's something that's changed i'm then going to go with this product from maven called um cream it's a cream eyeshadow and i use it as like eyeshadow base sort of or like an eye base and it's in the shade um, brulee basic beat brulee and I have that on my hand already and I'm gonna blend that out because I don't want too much and I'm just gonna use that on my lid like that you can use this as eyeshadow base you can use it as just plain eyeshadow it doesn't really need to be um i guess set in a way it almost like dries instantly because usually i find that when you actually just use concealer here that cakes quite a bit so this is also a really nice product if you're interested in getting something it's also really great that it's 
a color very similar to my concealer so blending it with the concealer isn't really a problem but they have like quite a number of different shades Okay, cool. So now that that's set, see, it's pretty like set. I'm gonna go in with some eyeshadow, like sort of like a darker shade, just to give that whole thing a bit of depth and give my eye a bit more shape. And I'm just gonna use that in my outer crease. And I'm using a full crease brush. Really just keeping that in there. I'm gonna do the same this side. I'm gonna add a bit of highlighter on my inner corner. And I'm using this um, really detailed eye brush and I'm packing this in my inner corner just to open my eye up a bit. Go in with some mascara. I have my lashes to dry, but I really want to show you guys the view in my apartment right now. It's so crazy. Like, it's so beautiful. You can't really see because okay, there you go. That's what I'm seeing right now. It's so crazy, right? And I like to line my lips with a brown lip pencil. I'm really into like overlining my lips these days. So I just go slightly above my lip line. doing your makeup and then you lose like something that's so important to you at that moment like it's so crazy like you can actually lose your lashes while you're doing your makeup and you're just like bro my lashes are just here like where are they i'm gonna do that off cam so yeah this is pretty much the final look which i absolutely really like it was my first time using these brushes so i'm so super duper impressed and i'm sure you guys will be too if you want to shop anything maven beauty i will put their link in my description box they do ship to south africa otherwise thank you so much for tuning in if you want to see more videos like this in the future let me know in the comments give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i will see you in my next video bye